Loftus, and today we're going over partial quotients again. This time we're talking about numbers um, using shortcuts to help us with this. We're going to start this problem the same way, 309 divided by 3. We're going to do 3 times 1, 3 times 10, 3 times 100. We're still going to use our landmarks here to help us solve. And we're going to make a decision. 3 goes into 309 how many times getting close without going over? We're going to use 10, or excuse me, 100. 100 times 3 is 300. And when we subtract, we get 9. I'm going to do it just the way we did yesterday, and then I'll show you the shortcut. We could do 3 times 1. 3 times 10 is too high. It's going to be higher than 9, and so is 3 times 100. So we'll do 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Subtract is 6. Same thing, we're going to do 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Subtract, you get 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Subtract, we don't have any left over. Our answer is 103. Now this is where yesterday I was talking about um, this is easier than long division because you can catch up. You can do shortcuts and if you use the wrong number here you can catch up. So here I'm going to show you the same problem using the shortcut. 309 divided by 3. We're going to do the same thing with our numbers. I'm going to use times 1, 10, times 100. Teachers, please dismiss all third, fourth, and fifth grade students. Please dismiss all third, fourth, and fifth grade students. Thank you. Okay. All students have been dismissed. <laughs> All students awesome. have been dismissed. <laughs> no, no, just keep going. Okay, so we'll do um, 100 times 3 is 300, and when we subtract that, we get 9. To take a shortcut, you could use what you know about your math facts. 3 times what gives us 9, closest to 9 without going over. We could use 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. We have no remainders, and our answer is still 103. But if you make a mistake, if instead of using the number 3, you decide to use the number 2, we'll go back to this part. You could use the number 2 here, no problem. 2 times 3 is 6. You subtract, and you've got 3, and then you could do 3 times 1. 1 times 3 is 3, and you still get the same answer, 103. Um, Monday we're going to be doing remainders, um, or the next lesson we will. We didn't get to it today. So if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great weekend. Very good. Still going? Uh, I pushed it off. No, it's not stopping.